Hi everyone, we're at Oceans Canal Bridge um, since Christmas. Obviously the structure went in and since our Christmas works we're now in the process of uh, putting sheet piles in the ground at the end of the wing walls. The reason that we put these wing walls in is it's a connection from our structure to the clay embankment. It just gives a, a, an opportunity to stabilise the embankment which has obviously got the railway on top. Um, at the back of these piles that you can see uh, we put a load of sheet poles in to just maintain stability of the embankment. Uh, people have seen spoil that was left down from some of the pictures over Christmas that give us the opportunity to remove the spoil so that these sheet poles could be placed in a correct alignment uh, and making it easier and safer for the machines and the personnel working around them. The reason at the moment what you can see is sheet piles uh, on the outside edge which will be a retainer, uh, the water will be up to that level. The end of our units, this will be the towpath that people will walk through. At the moment we're putting uh, natural clay back which will be a waterproof uh, substance that will go back uh, and then connecting to the end of those sheet piles will be our precast concrete units which will run through the structure which will just be the gap underneath that will help people walk through safely. At the moment the uh, guys have put the sheet poles in with an attachment that we call uh, a MOVAC which vibrates the uh, sheet poles into the ground. It's nice and quiet but unfortunately obviously because of the ground sometimes we get what we call refusal so we can only vibrate down so far and when it refuses to go any further we then change the attachment from the MOVAC to the hammer drill and unfortunately we have to hammer it down into the ground so I will just say thank you to the uh, the local neighbours for their patience and understanding Network Rail always try to keep the noise down as much as we can but sometimes we just have to go a little bit noisier to achieve success uh, for the works. 